that you had said in one of the, le the letter that you sent him on the 26th or the 29th that you wanted to meet up with him in person? No, I had I never said anything about firearms, and I also no, I know you didn't it was say about that, it was about because you're supposed to do this, a state statute. Yeah, you're supposed to actually try to serve it in, serve it in person. Okay. It's part of New Jersey statute yeah. and stuff like that. It's not a uh, okay. But I yeah, I guess the what the detective told us was that the judge was concerned because you were kept sending him letters, and then you said you wanted to meet up with him in person, so they thought maybe no, that, that it was to to meet up to to serve this the summons, which I did serve on the on the court. And okay. stuff like that. Yeah, it's all it's all it's part of the because what happened was I had when I originally served the um, the summons on the, uh, the the first suit that we had going on in federal yeah. court, they had uh, they the the New Jersey Attorney General had said that you were supposed to try to make an attempt to try to serve it directly onto the onto uh, you know make an attempt to notify the court that mm -hmm. you wanted to try to personally serve the summons and stuff like that. Okay. Upon the, uh, you know you're supposed to have personal service, so yeah. it's kind of doing a certified return receipt mail and everything. Yeah, instead of just sending them yeah, the yeah. yeah. I, no, I get it. You know, yeah, it's, 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 it's just a, it's a loophole that they have in the law that they try to, that you're, you're supposed to attempt to try to serve it, personally serve the summons upon the, you know, with, by, you know, trying to uh, make a reasonable and mm -hmm. good faith attempt. And okay. that's what I did too. And, uh, and I did it, and I, you know, with a letter and this and that to just try to, right. you but know. You in the made no threats at all. No are you, are you all. having any thoughts to hurt anybody? No, not any no. thoughts at all to hurt anybody. I'm just. You didn't have any plans to go there if you like lost the case and. Not at all. No, this case has been going on for three years. Yeah. I've been, <laughs> I've been, I've been doing what I could do for my, you know, yeah. try to. I've been doing everything, you know, okay. everything exactly the way, you know. Okay. After doing my legal rights, yeah. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't everything. Everything has been documented. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. okay. do, you, do you still have contact with your sister, or no? I have no I contact. With she was concerned too. And I have no contact with my sister. I have no contact with any of them. I Is there still a lawsuit? With that? Yeah, that's still that's so all still going on. Yeah. Right. Well, and I could show you the letter. I mean, I could show you. I mean, I have no. I've done nothing wrong. I've yeah. Done, I don't need to see any of them. I've done. Do. I've done nothing wrong at all. I've done everything. Everything's been documented. I don't all talk right. to my sister. I don't talk to. To them, I don't. Who lives here? Just you and your. Th there were kids in there. Yeah, my son and my my wife and okay. I have three little kids and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Were you having any suicidal thoughts? No, I'm not no. having suicidal thoughts okay. at all. Now. All right. Are you in any no. mental health treatment right now? No. 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 Okay. Have you ever been? They said in the, like in the past you were. No, no, I no. haven't been any in any mental health treatment okay. at all. All right. Are you eating and sleeping okay? I'm, yeah, I'm eating and sleeping fine and everything else. Okay. All right. And what about your, I mean, they said you're a retired officer, so you do have registered firearms? I'm retired, yes. Okay. I'm retired. But okay. So uh, you do have firearms here? Or? Um, well, my, uh, yeah, I do, yeah. Okay. Yes, but but you keep them locked up? They're locked up, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm not, this is, this is just, of course, I'm not, you know, I haven't yeah. threatened anyone. I'm not stupid, because I wouldn't do this. Yeah, we're just doing like I said. When someone calls and asks us to come out, we have to. That's like the screen. I've done. Sure I've done. I've documented every bit of this. Every bit of this case. Uh -huh. I've, you know, um, I made no threats to no one. I made no threats to yeah. any judges. Right. I've done everything the way it's supposed to be within the the courts and the, and the statutes. And you know, like I said, I've, you know, done nothing wrong. I'm not. Uh -huh. you know. All right. Is your wife home right now? Uh, my wife actually, she took my um. Daughter. She's at my daughter's basketball okay. game and stuff like that. Right. You, are you interested in any mental health treatment? No, or? I'm not interested. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not interested in anything. No, I'm just I'm, I'm fighting. I have a case that I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm dealing with for the last three years. I've okay. been, you know, I've, I've not done anything wrong. Okay. I'm, all you know, right. I've not done anything wrong at all. All right. right. Whenever we come out, we just have to call back to the, the psychiatrist to just let them know what's going on. So if you just give me a couple minutes, I'll be right back. Sure. Mm -hmm. sure. All right. Thank you. Who is this detective from Middlesex? Do you know who he is? Who does it all? I guess I guess he's the one who called and had some kind of concern or whatever. Uh, it, it, I think it's just it's just a uh, because of the this has been an ongoing case that's been going on for the last couple of years, and I just and I had this, the judge is actually he's named as a defendant in in in. He's just named as a defendant in a uh, federal lawsuit. Okay, okay. The judge is the name of the defendant in the federal lawsuit, so this is kind of like a retaliatory thing. But like I said, I'm not, you know, I named the judge. I have a judge in a, in a, in a federal lawsuit. I have two federal judges that are over. What for? 
um, for declaration of rights on the color of law regarding the regarding I had um, the attorney who's representing um, who's representing the um, what's it called the defendant. He's not he doesn't have uh, legal malpractice insurance, so I had filed two motions to disqualify him and the um, what's it called and the um, what's it called. He wouldn't hear my motion at all. He wouldn't even. Is this something that, that all New Jersey attorneys have to have? Is have legal uh, here, if you're an LLC, PCRPA. Okay. That's it's in New Jersey law that you have to have. If you have those three things, this attorney, he's he is an LLC. Mm -hmm. He's a New York attorney, and he is also a PC. Okay. But he's perjured himself in the courts. He's saying that he's not. He's operating as a sole proprietorship. He's not. He's but he lists everything as LLC. Or yeah, he's got. Okay. He's, he's, he has a new. He has a New York State Department of State. LLC license, mm -hmm. and he has a New York State uh, professional corporation license, and he's saying that he's not. He's saying he's, he's saying he's trying to get around it because he doesn't carry this this list of legal malpractice insurance. So, uh, I'm sorry, this uh, medical malpractice insurance, legal malpractice insurance. So, <laughs> so he's um, so what happens is he um, he ended up um, he won't hear the motion. They're trying to because they don't want to because they. Because this would disqualify the attorney from the whole entire case. Yeah, start over from new. So I had filed a motion to disqualify. I'm still supposed to do what's supposed to be done with the, with the. Um, still supposed to follow through the 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 um, what is it called? All the steps. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've done. I've done the steps with federal court. I've done the steps with with um, with federal court. And I've done steps also with um, you know with the state court because yeah. you know. You, even though you have a federal federal lawsuit against the judge and and the state and this and that, there's still you still have you, there's still an order that has to be um, you have to you stay the order or you have to you have to uh, I, I filed a motion for reconsideration of the order and you know I've done this is all this is all legal matter and the judge who just made this all happen here he's 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 a he's, he's a defendant in the federal lawsuit these two judges have been. Um, uh, Judge Brian, uh, so and so, and uh, <laughs> listen, I was a cop. Listen, I was a cop too. I mean, I know I've seen a lot of stuff. So, <laughs> no, but but this is this is not no one. I'm not. I'm done. I'm. This is this is something that's been going on with my state. There's been a lot of a lot of stuff that's been the attorney. I don't know what's going on. Your father's estate. My father died in 2016. And um, my father, in the last year of his life, he was um, he had prostate cancer. He had um, he had um, a, a fistula in his colon, which was leaking bile, oh. and he was calling his whole body to shut down. In the last year of his life, my sister, who was basically she was his home his um, home health, uh, what is she, medical legal, uh, whatever. We were all listed in a in a. Um, and the power of attorney. She was the primary, and then uh, myself and my other sister were the secondaries. What happened was she ended up uh, the last four and a half months of his life, four months of his life. She changes his will. She retains this New York State attorney, New York New Jersey attorney, the New Jersey attorney. And what she was doing was she was liquidating all his accounts. She was changing. She was a three kids account. She she was closed out their Fidelity uh, UTMA accounts. My dad opened for them. And then she reopened new accounts, and she put them in. Um, she put herself as the custodian of those accounts, and then to try to get around the tax, that the New Jersey had a six hundred and seventy-five thousand um, dollars. Uh, uh, yeah, at that time, it, it, it went away. It went away yeah. after 2016. What she ended up doing was she ended up. Um, she uh, uh, ended up. Uh, she was. They were playing games with the taxes. The, the, the lawyer who's who's on the case. He used to work for New New York State uh, Department of uh, Taxes or whatever it is. So what they were doing was they were running money through my kids' accounts because my kids are minors, trying to get um, trying to get around the New Jersey uh, the tax things. So she was basically, and then she would look as as time would go on, she would basically taking money from those accounts and she would be depleting those accounts. So how much money she had to get away with? Well, my about a million dollars was stolen from my dad's account. Wow. They're only showing about eight hundred thousand dollars. That uh, they still. As the mom's dying, and, you know. You know, you know what, you know what's sad, guys. It's, it's, it was sad is that my father was very control of everything in the last year, in, in 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 all of his life. In the last year, he was the same. 
I, I could, if you guys want to talk to, I could let you talk to my father. My father had a fiance and a girlfriend for about 12 or 13 years. She was with my dad through everything. With what was going on in the last year of my dad's life, my father was, uh, he had, uh, he had, I think it was October of 2015, he had uh, fallen backwards in, in front of the Bridgewater Diner, and he had a concussion to his back of his head, his pacemaker going off. He, this is like after he had all these radiation treatments, the cyber, cyber knife treatments, the radiation stuff. And the last year of my dad's life, um, what the my sisters were doing, the girlfriend was very aware of what was going on. They even called an elder abuse hotline on them. There was, there was, they were doing, they were, I didn't really wasn't aware of everything that was going on because at the time, you know, it's family, you kind of like, you try to like, you try to get a patrol. Sloppy, so, I was going to say. So, so, <laughs> so old? So, so, is it right if I said? Yeah. <laughs> so, so what happened is, my father ended up, uh, you know, maybe I've been that sick, she's going to think something wrong. <laughs> so, so my father, so my father's back in a bird, that's right. So what happened was, I ended up taking all his discs, after we were cleaning out the house, and I started going through them, and um, my, um, you started seeing like, um, yeah, I started seeing the, the, my father's cortical files, all his, uh, all his accounts. My father backed up; he was old school, mm -hmm. and my father's accountant was my account. So he went through the informal account with me, and he told me right at the bat, he said, "Bet you thousand dollars missing. There's, there's a lot of money missing, and this and that." And but he didn't really want to get involved. He was like, kind of like really didn't want to get involved, but I saw all the stuff that, for example, my father had, uh, he had listed things in his cortical files that was always supposed to come to me as being inherited, and everything that was in my mom's cortical files was in there as well, and um, she gave the, the, my, she gave her husband, she gave Julie that belonged to my father, to her son, she was, um, she did a lot of dirty things. Yeah. Families see money, and they also become greedy. Oh, I've seen I've seen with my family, and it's yeah. it's amazing. It is. You know, and it doesn't matter how much it is. They see any they see anything you know, they can get, and they're gonna go after. Oh, it. You know, we we see see yeah, yeah. It, it's you know what the only the only good thing about this I don't and I'm not and I'm very very I I don't have any contact I haven't had any contact with them. The only time I ever see them is in court. Yeah. I don't say any words. Okay. I don't say any two words to them at all. I keep like I'm very very I'm I'm very very focused with with all this stuff. I've I didn't have the the resources and the money to be able to afford to to fight this in court with an attorney. And I, I would have I tried I tried right from the bat. I tried I retained two attorneys right from the bat. I couldn't keep it up. I'm sure you know, try to, we try to you know I'm retired. My wife she's a school teacher. We you know she works in the, um, at a, at a law or civil a, law and civil law. And I've done everything right. And that's why even with the the, the letter stuff. It's the the batch that I read the letter. I'm like, he's a fucking former cop. He's gonna document everything. I documented everything. And if they, if a lawyer says letters rambling, it means it came from somebody who's not a lawyer. You're not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. So it's gonna not be legal, you know, speak, you know, all that kind of bullshit. And I and I did, I wrote I wrote to meet with the judge because it's it's part of the it's it's part of the because what happened was when I had. The, the first judge that was on the case, the, the New Jersey State Attorney General represents the judge. What happens is you were supposed to try to serve the judge personally, mm -hmm. the state statute, so and so says you're supposed to make attempt to personal service, which sounds crazy because no judge is going to meet with me to serve yeah. summons. No. So what I did was I followed that. I wrote he, actually what he filed in the, in the federal lawsuit with the he but he wrote I actually wrote I pretty much copied and pasted what he wrote. That um, statute so and so requires me to try to attempt to make personal service, and then I have to make a good faith effort to do the secondary service, which is certified mail return receipt. And because the first time I did the first service with the other judge, was I had to um, I left it with the surrogate's office, but they said that it wasn't wasn't the, that was the, that's not you know just, you have to attempt a personal service. It sounds crazy because you don't and really. And if you didn't, and you said it. Then the state attorney general would say, yeah, that you didn't, and then they get their 60 days, because then they, they say, oh, we'll waive service, and we'll take the 60 days. So that's what I did. I said that I wanted to meet with the judge to try to personally serve the summons. There's nothing that's state, and I even wrote the state statute and the federal laws, and, um... How long ago did you write that letter? Um, was that recently, or was that a couple well, the, months ago? No, the the summons was, the summons, the, the, the federal judges gave those summons out the December 27th. 
Okay, our suit was reasonable. December 27th, the, 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 federal, the judge gave us uh, the, those federal So I can show you the federal summonses if you want to see. Yeah, this is, but this is all. So I had on this you're, case. You're not going with us. She's not taking you. We're not taking her. We don't need to invest. You know, your lawyer, that's all lawyer stuff that I probably wouldn't understand when it's part. Yeah, but who, who, who is she now? Is she somebody like from... So she's from the Christ Center at oh. uh, Mom's Medical Southern Campus. Kim, the old Kimball Medical Center. Yeah. So that's, just, that's where she's from. Anytime there's any kind of you know, threats or possible, you know, somebody sends a... This happens all the time, which is crazy. Somebody holding them a gun to their head and they text it to a friend. And it's just like, what the fuck? And then we got to go in and we got to take all the guns. Right. Well, that's the guy that did it. And he said he was pissed off and he was, he was fucking with his friend. Um, this is the judge that abused that woman. That um, that she told her uh, her to sell her uh, uh, photos to the Playboy magazine. Was this New York? This is no New Jersey. Oh, really? This judge. Uh, this ju This is the judge that's been um, who told a, a woman who uh, was before her in the court to sell her photos to to uh, Playboy magazine. And he was got, he got into a lot of trouble for that in September of 2019. Recently. This is recently. Nice. I'm sorry about that. We just always have to call back to the doctor when we're out here, okay? I'm just going to leave you our information. Sure. If you do need any, like, mental health services. Or I don't need any mental health services. That's service. also an outpatient can place, too, okay? Can you, can you, can you, um... So who initiated this? Because I'm gonna, I have to send, I'm gonna send a document to the federal judges and let them know yeah, what that was took place. The judge from the Middlesex County. Uh, New Judge Alberto Rivera. Rivera. Yeah. So he, so he initiated. He was concerned about whatever letters you were sending him to talk to with the detective. At the you know the letters I sent are all, are all illegally. Yeah, that's what you they're said. They're legal yeah. letters. They're actually, they're actually with. I actually followed the same legal stuff that the, the New Jersey State Attorney General had. Yeah. Had had. Uh, you're supposed to try to. I I just served this judge a federal subpoena. Yeah. Okay. And and this 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 is a federal case that's yeah. going on in federal court. Yeah, I don't know, you know everything that's going on with this the case, but they, when when they call us and ask us yeah. to come out this, for this, just check on your mental health. This stuff. judge is also that judge that abused that woman, who told that woman she should sell her her pitches to Playboy magazine. This was in September of 2019. Mm -hmm. Th this judge this judge shouldn't even be on the bench. This is an abusive judge. This yeah. judge should not be on the bench. And I'm not no no. no that's right. I'm not looking to hurt yeah. myself or anyone else. No. I'm, I'm fighting a legal battle. We're just doing I'm doing, what we have to do. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm fighting a legal battle. I'm not doing anything wrong. Yeah, and, no. You know, this is this is just actually this is uh, I would I would find this to be something that the judge did, which is yeah. I, that would initiate. Yeah, and like this. I said, I don't know what everything that's going on with that. We're just doing when someone calls us, we have to for some. Yes. Just like anyone else. And I, and that, those letters I actually sent to, to federal judges. I've seen those letters already because I I filed that with federal court. Mm -hmm. So if there was anything in those letters that would have yeah they would have the, the federal judges would have been contacted. So this yeah. is this is an, this is but I, I appreciate you coming no out. Thank problem. you very Thank you much. For speaking with me. I no no worries. What was your name? Are you Amy. Name's on here, right? Um, no, that's just start. Yeah, you can just put your name on there just yeah. to me, just so I can have it for uh, some documentation. And if you need anything, you can call that number, okay? I won't need anything from All you. All right, thank you. Thank you, Walter. Thank you. Safe, guys. Safe, guys. Thank, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much.